Now, before I bring in uh, Dr. Martin to talk about more advanced lung cancer, do we always need to biopsy lesions that look suspicious on a chest X-ray? Or do you, as a lung cancer expert, can you make a diagnosis just looking at imaging without actually getting a tissue diagnosis? So no one should ever be treated without a tissue diagnosis, um, just because the treatments are so very different. And what we also know is that cancers can spread. So just because it's in the lung does not know, mean that it originated um, in the lung. We need tissue to confirm what we're treating, and the tissue can also help us figure mm -hmm. out how to test and what to treat patients with. And uh, just to summarize what a lung biopsy would involve, it sounds quite a frightening procedure to go through, to have a needle put into your lung. Uh, what does that involve for the, for the average patient? And does the risks of the biopsy depend on where in the lung the tumor is, or is it the same for all patients, regardless of the location of the lesion? So the, the risk definitely differs, um, and we may not always biopsy the lung. So for example, if someone has a tumor outside of the lung, we might go biopsy there to make sure that it is the same thing that we're seeing within the lung. The risk really depends not only on the location, but how healthy the lungs are. Um, you know, the biggest risk for a patient with a lung biopsy is either bleeding or the lung potentially collapsing temporarily um, at the time of the biopsy. But in the hands of an experienced pulmonologist or radiologist, those risks are really minimized. Nancy, you went through a lung biopsy. What was that procedure like? Was it done while you were awake or asleep? No, I was asleep. You were asleep. Mm -hmm. And it was a day case procedure, yes. was it? Mm -hmm. And did you have any um, un discomfort after no, the procedure? not at all. So it was a quick procedure, but you were asleep, a day case procedure. Yes. And then afterwards, you felt quite well. Mm -hmm. As afterwards. soon as I woke up and was aware, I could go home. And before you had the biopsy, did you already suspect that this was a lung cancer and the no. biopsy was just confirming it? No. no. I had no clue whatsoever. It didn't enter my mind. And then you had the biopsy results a few days mm -hmm. later. Tell us about when you first heard about the diagnosis of lung cancer. Well, my son who lives in the Denver area was in visiting for my birthday and uh, I got the news for my birthday <laughs> and Christmas that it was cancerous. So that was, uh, it was a sad time, but because he was there, I think it minimized it a great deal. I was happy to have him and his wife and that sort of toned down the the sad news, so we got over it. And we've already heard from Dr. Horn that some patients who have lung cancer, it's localized to the lung, and other patients have disease that's gone beyond the lung. Mm -hmm. Did you know early on whether the tumor was confined to the lung or whether it had spread no, beyond that? No, I didn't, but I was on the golf course one day, hello, golf course, <laughs> and I got a phone call from the hospital that there was a spot on my spine and that if it were not treated immediately, I could become paralyzed. So that sort of uh, put the quietus on the golf game and uh, I found out about that and Dr. Stavis did some radiation five consecutive days, I think it was, and we got rid of that. So you had treatment for the lung lesion and the secondary lesion on the spine without ever having symptoms from either. Right. Which is great that patients are detected before they become symptomatic. You talked about a lung biopsy to make a diagnosis, Dr. Horn. Once a patient's had a confirmed diagnosis and you know that there's disease outside the lung, do you need to biopsy the secondary lesions or is imaging enough to treat those with treatments like radiation? That's a good question and it often sort of depends on what the scans look like. So for a patient who maybe has one area that looks fairly atypical, we may go and biopsy that to confirm that it's the same tumor and make sure that we are, we're on the right page with treatment. Sometimes you'll get a scan and there are multiple spots in the lung, but there might be a spot, say the liver or the bone, which is harder to biopsy. And we may take the biopsy from the lung and use that in selecting our treatment. 
but in the majority of cases, we want to sort of biopsy the most distant site where the cancer may have spread to confirm that it's, it's the same tumor type. And I guess the lesions that you biopsy depend on where they are and what the risks are to the organ involved in terms of biopsying the risk of the biopsy itself. You've already talked about potential complications, but lesions close to the spine sound like that's a potentially high risk area to biopsy. So doing a biopsy of an area around the spine is often not as difficult as maybe getting an area that's central in the lung that's hard for a bronchoscopy to get to, which is what uh, Nancy had with you go down the throat. Um, so it, it really just depends on, on the safety and what, what's the easiest area to get to. Because with lung cancer, you don't just want to make a diagnosis from the biopsy. You also need enough tissue to do all the additional testing we need in order to help us select the right, best therapies. Right, so you need to get a decent amount of tissue exactly. to help use that to determine future management and how best to treat the cancer. Exactly.